Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining us. More people could soon be eligible for a COVID-19 booster shot as millions of other Americans have yet to get their first dose. An FDA advisory panel voted unanimously Friday to recommend Johnson & Johnson's vaccine booster shots. The day before, the panel approved a third dose of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine for seniors and other at-risk Americans. Health experts are also working on a strategy to mix and match vaccine brands moving forward. The CDC reports nearly 57 percent of the population is fully vaccinated here in the U.S. Almost two-thirds of the country has had at least one shot. A little bit more than 5 percent of Americans have received a COVID-19 booster shot. But that still leaves tens of millions of people who haven't had any COVID vaccinations. CBS News' Michael George has the latest. In Minnesota, a shortage of step-down and long-term care workers in beds has rippled into hospitals, where hundreds of patients have nowhere to go. The unvaccinated, the governor warns, risk not having a hospital bed if they get sick. If we are unwilling to do the things necessary to slow the spread of COVID, that will be exacerbated until you reach crisis situations like the state of Alaska, the state of Montana, the state of Idaho ended up in, where they have to make the horrific decisions of telling some people they can't come in. Nearly 34% of people in the U.S. currently eligible to get a vaccine haven't done that, making herd immunity impossible in this country. Yet, some efforts to mandate vaccines continue to meet with resistance. Some of Chicago's police are among them. If you ignore a directive of your supervisor, or worse, a direct order that's, that's lawfully given, you're going to destroy your career. Yesterday evening, the head of the police union was ordered by a judge to stop making social media posts that encourage officers to stay unvaccinated. And in San Francisco, nearly 200 officers have applied for religious or medical exemptions rather than take a shot. There, legal experts say they're likely on the wrong side of the law. You're dealing with the general goodwill of the public, the public health, for an individual to step back and say, my personal beliefs should trump the public need to be safe in a public area. I think that's just a very difficult battle. President Biden hit the road Friday to promote his social spending plan. The president visited a child care center in Connecticut. He said he is confident that the legislation will pass, but members of his own party are still battling over what and how much to cut.